Hi there my magical star beings, this is Psychic Siren Tarot and welcome to the channel. In today's reading we're going to be taking a look at what people like about your personality. Okay, please be aware this is a general reading to only take what resonates and leave the rest as the messages may differ for everyone watching. I'm now going to show you your crystals. So for pile number one we have the Sodalite crystal. For pile number two, we have this Leopard Jasper Crystal. And for pile number three, we have this Larimar Crystal. I'm going to give you a few seconds to pick a pile. Pick whichever pile you're most drawn to, the one that is calling out to your soul the most, and that will be your pile for today. Once you're done picking a pile, please find the timestamps for your pile in the description box below, and then I will see you at your reading. Hi there my pile number ones, if you chose the Sodalite Crystal, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at what people like about your personality. Okay, so please be aware this is a general reading. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. You chose the card Calming the Waters and it says Peaceful Self-Regulation. I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of your cards. Let's see what shows up for you. Okay, my pile number ones. So for your cards, we have Innovation with New Creations. We have the cat with independence and healthy boundaries. We have medicine woman with you are a channel for divine healing power. We have fairness with the situation will be held, handled in a fair and just manner. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Five of Cups. And we have the Three of Wands. For these tarot cards, we have the Temperance card. We have the Well. We have the Empress. And lastly, we have the Four of Wands. Okay, my pile number ones, before we start with your reading, I do have a small favor to ask from you. The last three months, 80% of people who watch my channel didn't subscribe. So if you've ever liked any of the videos I've posted and you like this channel, can you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button? It helps my channel more than you know. And the bigger the channel gets, the more content I can create and put out to you guys. I also want to thank everyone who has been supporting I'm dearly grateful for your support. Sending so much love. Enjoy the reading. Okay, so my pile number ones, now that we have your cards out, I see exactly what people like about your personality. So I'm picking up my pile ones. I feel you are my pile of pure souls. It's like people really just see you as this angelic light in their life with the temperance card here. You give me a lot of angelic energy. I don't know why, like I'm just seeing you have a lot of beauty on the outside and you just have this angelic, ethereal, beautiful nature to you. But on the inside, your heart is also really beautiful. And that is what people like about your personality. You just have this angelic, calming presence. 
and it's ethereal in some way. <laughs> and that's what I see here. You know those quotes like, oh, um, did it hurt when you fell from heaven? I feel like you literally look like that. <laughs> Or you literally give off that vibe or presence, very calming, very healing, your energy. And I think people feel that a lot, like they can just be themselves around you. And I'm feeling something in my lower, um, my lower three chakras, well, especially the lower two chakras in my like, not my middle back, my lower back. So I'm feeling like other people's energy and how they feel around you. So especially people that have, people that are kind of healing their roots and sacral chakra. So people that are healing their root chakra kind of need that safe space around them because they've never received that before. So that's how the root chakra kind of gets blocked when we haven't received safety, support, our emotional or physical needs haven't been met for a long time or where we've been on fight or flight mode. Um, a lot of fear, a lot of stress. And when you're around people like that, it's kind of like you have this calming, grounding effect on them. You make them feel at peace, especially people that are like stressed or anxious in some way you just have this calming healing effect on them that is soothing in some way like a healing balm if that makes sense you just have this soothing presence that people like especially people that are very anxious or scared or fearful um, or not trusting of the world it's like you you emotionally nurture that part that they never received. Does that make sense? It's like you nurture a part of the inner child that hasn't received that type of love. And I see exactly that here with the three of wands. It's like your inner child is painting sunshine on their aura. <laughs> I don't mean it literally, but like metaphorically, it's like you give a lot of people this healing effect, but also this joyful effect when they're around you. And I think people just really like your energy, your healing vibe and aura. And that's something I see. And you just have this ethereal, gentle nature to you that people really like. It's like people feel safe around you. And with the sacral chakra energies of other people I'm feeling, uh, you especially have this effect on people where they don't, the sacral chakra is responsible for our confidence, our motivation, our sensuality, how we feel about ourselves and our body. Well, that's in the root chakra. So you especially have this effect on people with sacral chakra blockages where, like, let's say, these types of people are drawn to you because of your vibe and how it makes them feel. Because um, I feel like you hype those around you up. You kind of has have this effect on people where you hype them up. You make them feel like they can be themselves around you. Like they can be playful around you. They can be their most weird self around you. And there's no judgment there. And that's the type of people that are really drawn to you those that don't feel that confidence in themselves it's like you hype them up you make them see their own talents their own strengths and you change something in their perception of their self-worth and of themselves it's like it's almost this feeling of like let's say someone has an insecurity for example about something about them and you you don't point it out but then you're like oh, this is so beautiful about you. And then you give them that kind of feeling of like upliftment and empowerment. And that's how people feel around you, empowered. Like they can just be themselves. There's no judgment. And it's like you just hype those around you up, especially friendships and people 
that are just like getting to know you, you have a way of words and making them feel special. That's something I see very strongly, like the words you say to people make them feel special in some way, it heals their heart in some way, it gives them that that they've never received before, the nurturing they've never received and that's how your energy is felt and I think people really just like that about your vibe and your presence. You have this uplifting yet nurturing, ethereal, loving vibe. <laughs> And I think people just like that about you. I think a lot of you have this effect on people because I feel like you have a lot of healing energy in your aura. Um, I feel that strongly and it's like you change everyone you come across in some way. There's always something you change about them for the better. And often people look back to the memory of meeting you in some way and it's like you change something in their life. And I'm feeling the solar plexus now as well. So same energy. You make them see their own worth. You make them see their own talents. What makes them shine. And like let me give you an example. Let's say someone really wants to sing. They really feel like they want to sing. It's their passion. But they don't feel confident in themselves. Maybe their family made them feel like okay you don't have any talent but then you they sing in front of you and you're like oh my gosh you sound so amazing you should really share your voice with people it's so beautiful and you point out the beautiful things in their voice that maybe they're insecure about and then it's like I can I can move forward now with more confidence in myself than ever and that's the feeling people get from you because you just uplift and empower those around you and it's like you grow but then like let's say you're a flower and you grow and you're watering yourself but then you also water those around you and then you also give them sun does that make sense so then you're growing and then the people around you are also growing and I think your love your nurturing energy is very healing in some way because you pour into those you love, you pour into those around you and I'm feeling your energy is so healing because of past life energies. So some of you could have been shamans in past lives whereas others of you could have literally been angels or guides to others in past lives and that's why you have a lot of healing energy or you could have been healers in some way and it's like you don't even need to learn the healing you already have that healing energy uh, so some of you here are maybe like reiki practitioners or you just have a lot of healing energy like a cat you know how they say cats can go somewhere and just heal someone by just sitting next to them I feel like you have that effect on people so if you've ever thought about going into any type of healing work I really feel you have a lot of healing energy but it's not just healing it's also uplifting and empowering it's like you pour into them and then you pour sunshine onto them as we see with all these cups here it kind of reminds me of you know, the Aquarius water bearer energy of pouring into those around you. And that's something people really like about your personality. But I also feel like in terms of your own life, you've come to a point where you are comfortable with your deep emotions. Uh, you really are able to understand your deep emotions on a deep level. You're able to calm yourself down when you are angry, when you are in a mood. It's like you're able to calm that down or able to calm that down for others. Especially like if they are really triggered, you're able to do that. You just have that effect on people. And I see here it's because you are comfortable with your own emotions. That's how you have so much nurturing and healing energy. But also your heart is just huge. Your heart shines out. You live by your heart. You follow your heart in daily life. You give love freely. And that makes you have even more healing energy. Because you're just operating as like a light worker for everyone around you. Like a cat. That's what I feel here. 
um, like a walking crystal almost. <laughs> That's what I see here. And you just change people's lives. You change their perspectives on things. You feel like a miracle to those around you. Just meeting you. Just having your presence around. I think people really like that about your personality. Because even you feeling things deeply. I think it inspires a lot of people to not... To not push down their emotions, to honor their emotions, like this full moon energy. You know, full moons have that effect on people where they literally bring out <laughs> everything that needs to be released here in the Medicine Woman card. And it's like, I think you have that effect on people of bringing out everything that they've held onto in their emotional field like storms and then you almost put a rainbow over them after it's released and the rain has settled you get what I mean that's the effect you have on people your scene is very divine in some way and that's what people like about your personality very divine very angelic very ethereal <laughs> that's something I see I'm hearing the song God is a woman by Ariana Grande so some people could feel like that about you, like you have goddess vibes, god vibes, <laughs> that's something I see and that's something people like about your personality, how divine you are. I also feel like you have, for some of you, you have a partner or like love interests that really like these traits about you. Uh, because I'm seeing like a lot of love energies, romantic energies. If you're single, it's like love interests or people that have crushes on you. Or people that are just interested in you that know you on a deeper level. And if you are in a relationship, then this is your romantic partner. But I feel here they really like how big your heart is. They really like that about your personality. How protective you are over those you love. How open your heart is and how you create deep connections with those around you. And you just have this calming effect on your lover as well. Um, I think you're seen as marriage material to them. And that's something they like about your personality. How nurturing, how compassionate you are. How you just treat those around you with such love, nurturing, compassion. That's something I see. And I'm also seeing some of you have like people in your life in a romantic way where it's kind of like some of you, I'm feeling this energy, if it doesn't resonate, you don't have to take it. But for very few of you, I'm seeing an energy of like your romantic partner or romantic crushes or things like that, liking the fact that you kind of have this playfulness with them. Like you can kind of banter with them and I'm not saying like poke fun jabs at each other but like this energy of fun banter matching their energy in some way. That's something I see or this feeling of like fighting and then like making up <laughs> but it's like a playful kind of energy. I don't know. That's the feeling I get. Or some of you just have feisty personalities and it's like a romantic interest really likes that. That's something I see. <laughs> and your kisses. <laughs> if any of you have like a romantic partner here, they really like your kisses. Um, and how open your heart is and how you just, you just bring joy to those around you. And I, I'm feeling friendships now. You bring joy to those around you. You empower your friends and just people around you. You put in a lot of effort towards your relationships, your connections. Um, you just make those around you feel special. And you feel like a celebration to be around. You're so fun. You're so playful. You're funny as well. And very charismatic and charming as well. That's something your friends notice about you and really like about your personality and how much you just shine and you give off the sunshine vibe to everyone around you like you're just a sunflower growing sprinkling sparkles on the flowers around you 
<laughs> and watering the flowers around you and giving them sun. That's something I keep seeing. And I think the people around you, those that really know you, love how you're always transforming, love how you're always growing. They love that about your personality, how committed you are to those you love, how loyal you are. Um, and they think you're really cute as well. You have this cute, gentle nature and a very trustworthy personality. And that's something they like about your personality. I feel like people also like the fact that you can understand people on a deep level. It's like you don't... I wouldn't say don't take things personally, but you understand people's minds and emotions on a deep level like let's say you know what spirit is showing me um you have a very motherly nurturing energy regardless of gender and spirit is showing me a vision of um a reel i watched on instagram where the child was kind of like <laughs> kind of matches this where the child was kind of like pouring in milkshake or something for themselves and messed it all over and then the mom was kind of just patient with the child and said it's okay pour this way pour this way and guided them on how to do it instead of getting angry at them for making a mistake because they understand it's just a toddler the toddler doesn't know how to pour it in yet it doesn't have those kind of skills yet of learning and I feel like you have that vibe with people very patient very kind very loving and understanding when like they make mistakes or they aren't perfect in any way it's like you just have this very much understanding energy and I think you can understand where people come from on a deeper level like you just understand. You understand people's emotions and the way they act out in certain ways, why they're acting out. It's like you just understand. And you have this very fair and balanced, honest energy as well, where you, you know, you do set those boundaries. You do have that independence to you. And you do speak up for yourself in those situations. But you have an understanding as to why they did it. Do you get what I mean? And that's something people really like about you. Because it's like you just understand those you love on a deep level. Like let's say they snapped at you and it hurt your feelings. Yes, but maybe you understand why they were triggered. Maybe you know about what happened to them in their life and you can see oh they they acted out because of this and this and this that triggered them but then you still kind of like speak up for yourself and set a boundary and you're very honest and you're like you know I don't like how you how you treated me there because of this and this and you set a boundary but then you make them aware of why maybe not why they're doing it but you kind of give this understanding energy when like they apologize to you and things like that that's something I see and that's something people like about your personality but people also just like how honest you are you you're honest in a very nurturing way if that makes sense and that's something people really like about your personality and you just have this fair, unbiased energy a lot of the time when like giving advice to those you love. They really like how wise you are, how you can see things from a bird's eye perspective. You can see things from everyone's point of view and you understand and you help others come to that same compassion and understanding. And it's like you just nurture people's broken hearts with words of wisdom with words that help them unlock their future and unlock their destiny it's like your words are very healing as well and you know the right things to say and that's something people like about your personality people like how calm you are 
how they can just sit with you and be in quiet and it doesn't feel awkward. <laughs> That's something I see. People really like as well when you go out with them. Something about going out and having fun. You're seen as a celebration to those around you and those that see you around. You're just seen as like a very joyful soul. And it's like people love when you go out with them. They just have the most fun with you. That's something I see because you just... You just make people feel like, okay, we can be ourselves, we can have fun. There's no judgment. We can laugh until, laugh and drink something and spit out it and did not get judged or like, you know, like when you're laughing so hard and then you snort like juice out of your nose. Like that's the feeling I get of how, how much fun people have around you or laughing until they can't breathe, like you're so fun to be around and it's like people love to listen to music with you people love to go out with you um have dinner with you <laughs> go get cocktails with you travel with you um it, it's like you're just so much fun to be around that's something i see and that's something people really like about your personality people also really like how you can see things on a deep level you see life through a deep set of eyes and you see everything with depth and you're very you're a very deep person very wise um it's like some people feel like you're an old soul in some way and that's something they like about you and your personality cuz it's like people think conversations with you are just so interesting because you have this depth to you. It's like when people get to know your mind, they really start to fall in love with your mind in some way. Because you can just see things so deep. And I think conversations with you are fun <laughs> in some way. Fun and playful. But also, you're very, very intelligent, my pal number one. So that's something people really like about your personality. But you also have, even though you have this nurturing nature to you, you also have this powerful nature within you, like this gentle power. But you also have this feistiness to you, this strength to you. And it's like you are independent, but also nurturing at the same time. But also like you tell the truth, you speak your truth, you live in your truth. And you live authentically and people just see you as so confident, so so powerful in yourself. And I think people really like that fiery side to your personality as well. That's something I see. But people also think you're very down to earth, very protective over those you love but very down to earth at the same time. It's like you have different qualities. You're very multidimensional. That's something I see that people like. Um, and also how receptive you are. I think people love to give to you as well because you're a giver, so they naturally love to give to you. And I think they like that about your personality, but then they also want to give to you in return. And some of you are creative in some way. People really like that about you. Or you're just very innovative, innovative with your ideas, things like that. The things you create in your work, in your hobbies, things like that. I'm seeing you just kind of create and your ideas are very unique. You are very unique. And I think people, especially like lovers love to give to you, love to spoil you. <laughs> they love to just see a smile on your face when you receive something from them. That's something I see. But also people really like how hardworking you are, how wise you are with your decisions and how you kind of just really work hard to get a lot of blessings in your life. Um, like all the blessings you've gotten are from your strength and your powerful nature and how you just go after what you want. You have this very warrior-like quality to you as well. 
and I think people, especially like work colleagues, like the work you put in. You're very smart, very intelligent, very organized. But you're also always growing. You have this go with the flow type of vibe to you that people really like as well in your personality. And just how much of a celebration you are, how much of a big heart you have. I think people like a lot of things about you, my pile number ones. I really enjoyed doing this reading for you today. I really hope that this resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye. Hi there, my pile number twos. If you chose a slipper jasper crystal this reading is for you we're going to be taking a look at what people like about your personality okay please be aware this is a general reading to only take what resonates and leave the rest you chose the card sacred action with decisive focus i'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of your cards let's see what shows up today okay so for your cards we have precognition with psychic ability and future vision We have uh, the spider with creative projects. We have cycles and rhythms with honor the cycles of your body, energy levels and emotions. We have focused intention, keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target and you will make your mark. We have the three of pentacles. We have the eight of pentacles. We have the strength card. I think this is the seven of pentacles, sorry. <laughs> we have um, six of pentacles, I don't know, let's see. Sorry, my pal twos, it is the seven of pentacles. I kind of am still getting used to these cards because to me, I don't know, it's confusing to read these things and then like the different languages, so sorry about that. This is the Empress card. And then we have the Chariot card. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Three of Wands. And lastly, we have the Two of Cups. Okay, so before we start with your reading, I do have a small favor to ask from you. The last three months, 80% of people who watch my channel didn't subscribe. So if you've ever liked any of the videos I've posted and you like this channel, can you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button? It helps my channel more than you know. And the bigger the channel gets, the more content I can create and put out to you guys. I also want to say thank you to everyone's support from the beginning until now. Thank you for all the views all the likes all the comments all the love i'm sending you so much love thank you and enjoy the reading okay my pile number two so i'm picking up for some of you these messages are coming from your ancestors and for others of you your angels your guardian angels i don't know why it's coming through like that sometimes when i do readings i just see who's giving me these messages <laughs> Whereas for other readings, I sometimes don't. So I guess that's what they're showing me today. If you feel a connection to your guardian angels or ancestors, they're here giving these messages. So in terms of what people like about your personality, my pal number twos, with all the purple here, but also the precognition card, I feel this is my intuitive pile. People love how you're just able to talk to them and you have this wisdom in your inside your soul that is so bright 
I feel like you are a bright light to those that are in darkness, to those that are kind of going through a lot. You're seen as a bright light to them in some way. You're seen as someone that kind of guides and leads them to the path they're supposed to be on. Some of you are actually tarot readers on YouTube or you do tarot readings for people or you just have this very wise presence, very intuitive presence to people that you've met where perhaps you've said some things that really make them understand on a deep level um, the situation they're going through because I feel like a lot of people come to you and ask for your advice or ask for your perspective on things or kind of come to you to vent about their life and their problems um, or their anxieties. I feel like you are trusted in some way by most with their problems. It's like they can trust you to come to you and you're so loving and non-judgmental to what they're going through. You kind of just hold space for people and you're this bright light for people. It's like you make their anxiety go away. Um, I'm feeling like a lot of people often feel like a weight has been lifted off their shoulders after they speak to you because there's something so intuitive and wise about you that is just like mind-blowing and I feel like you're that person people go to for advice because I feel like you have this unbiased view you understand people on a deep level because you understand yourself on a deep level I feel like you are my pile of people that have been doing a lot of soul searching in your life doing a lot of healing on yourself and as a result of both past life but also this life's wisdom and intuition it's like it's super powerful your intuition there's sometimes times where you just say things to people and you blow their mind away because I think you understand the human nature on a deep level because you understand yourself on a deep level and the more we understand ourselves the more we can understand humanity on a deeper level because often we're on different journeys and different people help according to different journeys lessons etc etc and their gifts but I feel you have seen the world through many eyes you've I feel like you're a very old soul and you know you may have been a guide to people in past lives or an ancestor to people or an angel to people in a past life where you've learned a lot of wisdom from just helping many people at once. There was a reading I did on a lady where she was an angel in a past life and she learned like a hundred lifetimes of wisdom from helping people in just that one life as being an angel. So I feel like you're seen as an angel or a guide to a lot of people around you and you're seen as so loyal, so trustworthy with their information. It's like people can come to you and tell you their deepest, darkest secret. You'll, you won't even blink or judge them. You'll be so compassionate, so loving. You just have this angelic light energy to you, but also this strong, powerful energy to you at the same time. And it's like you illuminate things for people through your heart, but also through your intuition. You illuminate the path for them and guide them to where they're supposed to be. Your energy feels very supportive, very loving and very much non-judgmental. And I, I feel like even when people tell you about their burdens or things in their life that have gone wrong, it's like you just sit there, you hold space for them, you send them love, you're very protective over those around you, you kind of just hold space for them and allow them to talk, you're a good listener, you know exactly what to say to them in moments of struggle and burden. And I feel like you are very intuitive where you just say things to people where it's exactly what they need to hear in the moment. It's exactly what they need to see in the moment and it guides them towards finding themselves but also finding a different perspective, 
letting go of a different part of themselves that was in that energy especially people that are very anxious very much in their worries in their chaos in their stress it's like your energy is very healing and loving and it guides them through that feeling um and i just feel like you often are around people that are in those feelings and you talk to them and you help them find a different perspective you help them forgive and let go in some way by showing them something about themselves and others and showing them compassion for others as well because you kind of lead the way by being so compassionate um, I feel here you'd probably be the type of people that are really good at mediating because you can see things on different perspectives different sides and you just understand people on a deep level um, but you're also seen as a miracle to a lot of people you have this very motherly nurturing energy compassionate energy and spirit is showing me a lotus flower you make people grow in some type of way in a very beautiful way from their hurt and pain and you just have a very healing alchemizing energy that just melts away people's stress people's anxieties it's like you make those around you feel very safe and the words of wisdom you use are exactly what they need to hear and it's almost like you speak through their angels their guides their ancestors to even things they've prayed for without you realizing like let's say uh for example someone prays for love they really want love and you know you're really kind to this person and you're like you look so cute in that dress are you going on a date tonight and then you kind of wink at them or something and then maybe just like that morning they were praying to find a lover and like that to them is a sign <laughs> it's a silly example but that's the feeling I get from you just a very tender loving energy and the lotus flower you're you have a very transformative energy whoever comes into contact with you they transform and bloom in some way and that's something really beautiful it's like you water people's garden in their soul and you show them the beauty of life again and guide them to finding their own light within them as well so that's really beautiful that's something people really like about your personality all those traits i just mentioned um you know it depends on who's watching this if you are a tarot reader or you are seen as a guide in some way to people um, that's something people really notice about you you have a very lunar energy with the cycles and rhythms card very intuitive very in tune with the universe you see things from a bird's eye view and it's like it's just empowering to see this I love this for you my pal twos um, and it's like you don't just heal people you also create something in them that allows them to go home with something new in them it's like you heal them and then you plant gardens in their soul a fairy garden in their soul <laughs> you get what I mean and it's just so beautiful there's bees there's butterflies everywhere beautiful flowers beautiful trees and sparkles and I just feel like you add to people's lives you don't don't just have healing energy but you create something within them as well this is really beautiful this is what people like about your personality I'm also seeing something here about other parts of your personality I think that was just the first section of something I'm seeing I think you have a lot of strength a lot of resilience to you you have this gentle loving nurturing compassionate nature but at the same time you have a lot of power and strength to you you're actually seen as someone that has a lot of leadership qualities in some way you have this fiery energy to you 
as well that is like leadership energy putting in hard work towards your dreams i see that you're very magnetic towards the things you want to manifest you just have this fertile energy this power of creation of creating your reality i don't think it's just magnetic to your desires i think you create your manifestations of everything you want in your life it's like you create your fate your fortune your destiny <laughs> i don't know why spirit's showing me <laughs> when britney spears kind of goes into that fortune teller's um place there and then she walks in she sits down and then she's like i tell my own destiny <laughs> funny joke your spirit guides are giving me but i think that's you in some way like you don't yes you're intuitive but you understand the power of creation of creating your reality of kind of going out there and putting your manifestations out into the world with this positivity by being in that feminine receptive energy and receiving it graciously but also by putting an action towards your dreams so you have a balance of masculine and feminine energy and that makes you a powerful manifester and i think you have beautiful traits within you of kind of just creating your reality creating your fate creating your fortune believing that the biggest of dreams are possible believing that there is an abundance of opportunities out there i think people just see you as someone that is very lucky very much like a manifester or creating your reality um, spirit is showing me you have an energy very much like mother earth and i'm not gonna go over this whole story again <laughs> because i said it twice in readings and i don't know i don't anyways let me just tell you long story short i saw a glimpse of mother earth i had an encounter with her and she basically showed me how the earth was created with the sun being but also with mother earth so it was basically the combination of masculine and feminine energies creating earth but also all the elements together because she was co covered in earth um he was a ball of fire but he had water around him to interact with her and then around them they were in space air so the combination of those four elements and how the masculine and feminine energies can come together and create earth basically what i saw was them together creating earth like people create babies <laughs> i'm not gonna go into detail because this is not an 18 plus reading but anyways and then they were also creating the earth with art with singing with music with dance and basically long story short they just showed me the creation of earth in some way and i think you have that powerful energy to you as well it's like i think a lot of you have this very motherly energy of creating and even if you are it does not have to do with gender even if you don't create a baby it's like you use that womb energy like I feel like your sacral chakra is really strong, really powerful. Everyone has a sacral chakra and it's like you just have this fertile energy of creating your reality. Some of you are very creative in some way and you use your sacral chakra a lot to create art, to create things in your life. Um, some of you are just creative like some of you like to bake some of you like to paint some of you like to sing um or you just are very creative with the way you put together your hair your makeup your style or you're just very creative in general you have a lot of creative ideas at work things like that i keep seeing this creative energy this energy of creating your reality and 
The potential, the possibilities are limitless. Everything is abundant and it kind of just comes to you naturally. That's something I see. And that's something people really like about your personality. How much of a master manifester you are and how you just see the world with this experience of lack of abundance like everything is abundant and open to you because here we even have the seven of pentacles and usually the seven of pentacles is hard working but it's like you are hard working but you allow time to also bring you harvests because here we see the plants the grapes growing the harvest is already there you know what I mean? But with this three of pentacles, we see her being pregnant. And you know how pregnancy takes like nine months. It's like you are patient with the things you want to create. With the work you put in. Maybe I'm also picking up on some career things. Or just people admiring these strengths within you. But like, you're really passionate about what you do. I'm seeing some of you so... Um, you're really passionate about what you do and you put so much love and passion into what you do and you kind of nurture your dreams for a very long time and then people see how decisive you are people see how focused you are on the things you want and when you want something you are really going to get it you're really going to create change in your, your reality luck in your reality it's like you create that yourself by focusing on the things you intend to create in your life and that's something I see but you're also helpful to those around you that are wanting to create that for themselves as well like maybe I'm picking up on work like let's say someone new comes in you don't mind helping show them the way because it's like you empower those around you but you also empower yourself and that's something people really like about your personality um, you're also someone that is always ever growing you are always expanding to bigger and better things always growing always expanding I feel Jupiter energy with you like the world is abundant the world is my oyster that type of energy you give off and not only that, you're just really consistent, you're good at planning, you're good at creating a plan for things and organizing and consistency. So I guess maybe I'm picking up on some colleagues and what they like about you, <laughs> if this is. But I also feel like you're very honest with those around you, you're not afraid to take risks but you're also not afraid to be restricted because it's like when things restrict you is when you really find that power within you to plant something new, to create something new. Um, it's like you use challenges as motivation to move forward in your life. And I'm also picking up people really like the fact that you have really good values how you really don't back down from what you want, how passionate you are about life, how you just have this confident nature to you. That's something I see very strongly. Um, but also this empowering nature. Everyone that is around you feels empowered in some way. You're also really courageous to go after your dreams, to take risks in life because sometimes... I'm seeing the full energy <laughs> clairvoyantly. Sometimes we have to take a leap of faith in order to create something in our life. And that's something I see. You're also not afraid to walk away from people, things, situations that aren't serving you. And you really give off this energy of like, I know my worth. I empower myself. Like, I'm not going to stick around for people that are just going to give me the bare minimum or not going to treat me right like you walk away from jobs from people things that just aren't helping you things that aren't helping you grow that aren't making you happy it's like you 
You're not afraid to walk away from things and endings because you know that endings are merely just new beginnings. So that's something I see. And you just see the world with this abundance. Like, okay, um, <laughs> this person doesn't isn't honest with me. Bye-bye. There's a million more people out there. <laughs> I don't know like that's the feeling I get maybe not a million but anyways like I just feel here you have that abundant view of the world very expansive but you also just have a very playful personality and you're always moving forward always transforming and that's something people also really like about your personality how patient and balanced you are and when you really focus on something, you will get it. But you're also really protective over those you love. You love those around you with this deep love, this deep admiration. You empower those around you. You help them grow. Um, you really make people feel like, okay, if I walk a path with you, we're growing together. We're empowering each other. We're lifting each other up. We're looking into each other's eyes with love and like saying the most beautiful things to each other, bringing the most beautiful energies into each other's lives with love. And I just feel that people feel that you're very sweet, that you're protective over those you love. And that's something they also like about your personality. So this is what I see in your reading, my pile number twos. I really hope that this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye. Hi there, my pile number threes. If you chose this Larimar crystal, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at what people like about your personality. So please be aware this is a general reading. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. You chose the card Soul Radiance with Phoenix Rising. I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of your cards. Okay, so my pile number threes. For your cards, we have Achievement, Effort plus Intention. We have... The Water Fairy with Feelings and Emotions. We have Transformation with You Are Experiencing Enormous Change Right Now, which brings great blessings. You also have the card Easy Does It. There is no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. We have the Two of Wands. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Sun. We have the Artist. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Cups. And we have the Hierophant. Okay, so before we start with your reading, I do have a small favor to ask from you. The last three months, 80% of people who watch my channel didn't subscribe. So if you've ever liked any of the videos I've posted and you like this channel, can you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button? It helps my channel more than you know. And the bigger the channel grows, the more content I can create and put out to you guys. Thank you for all your support to those that have been here from the beginning to those 
those that have been here for the past few days thank you for all of your support i'm dearly grateful for that and for all your love for all the comments thank you i'm sending you so 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 much love enjoy the reading okay my pile number threes in terms of what people like about your personality i'm seeing a lot of you have an external beauty, yes, but you also have a lot of beauty within your personality. Your personality is very pretty in some way and that's at least what people around you think because I think you have this energy of like such a loving vibe and presence but you're also very beautiful in your soul I think you have this energy of magic within you and you kind of just spread it wherever you go you see the world with such beauty you see the world and people with such beauty and you show people the beauty inside themselves and the beauty in the world that's something I see very clearly and that's something people really love and like about your personality uh, people also like the fact that you are always transforming my pile number threes. You're someone that's always transforming, always growing, letting go of old parts of yourself and gaining new aspects of yourself each time. It's like every time people see you, you have transformed in some way. You have rebirthed yourself in some way. And each time they see you, you become more and more of this new version of yourself it's like it's like you're busy creating the second version of yourself and as the days go by you transform and transform and transform like let's say you're a butterfly today you have transformed with pink wings tomorrow you have purple wings you know what i mean and that's the feeling i get so it's like people see that and then they are like what how does this person always transform how is this person always becoming this different but more evolved version of themselves how is this person growing so fast at this rapid rate how are they transforming how do they have the knowledge and wisdom to transform like this um how do they have the knowledge and wisdom to to understand their emotions on this deep level and that's something I see people really admire about your personality because I think you're very wise very intuitive at the same time and it's like you have this energy to you where I think a lot of you have healed your inner child in some way have reparented your inner child you're very nurturing to your own emotions and you understand your own emotions on a deep level. And even with this lotus flower here and these tadpoles, they also represent a symbol of transformation. And we see this butterfly maiden with transformation. So there's a lot of energies of transformation here in your pile of you just transforming within your emotions, of you being nurturing to yourself, your inner child. Um, and it's like you understand yourself on a deep level and therefore you are always transforming yourself and that's something people admire in you but I think you also transform and help the people around you grow it's not just that you're always transforming I think since you are so wise and since you're so intuitive it's like you are able to give great advice to those around you to your friendships to your partners it's like you're able to allow them to let go of fear and kind of make changes in their life that really assist them in the most beautiful way um, it's like you recognize the potential in people you help them grow you help them transform into their best and most radiant self and that's something I see it's like I don't know the way you have transformed yourself you've taken that knowledge you've taken that wisdom to do with dealing with your own emotions and it's like you give that to others and it really helps them in some way those around you and I, I'm feeling especially friendships and lovers it's like you bring a lot of change into those 
people you encounter, their lives, there's something about you that brings incredible change. And Spirit is showing me an owl. You have an amazing perception of the world and you view the world with beauty. And as you do that, you create your reality around you with so much beauty of the world that people notice that and then they kind of follow your lead. And that's something people really admire and love about your personality. You're like a tree that is always growing. Uh, your roots go down into the ground and get deeper. You become more balanced and like yourself, but then you also grow like a tree towards the heavens. So you're always ever growing and you help those around you do the same. That's something I see. So you have this connection to this grounded, balanced version of yourself, but you also have a connection to the heavens, to the higher realms, to the angelic realms. I feel like you have very, very much like this angelic energy to you, this magical energy to you of creation, creating your reality, transforming your reality, this very divine feeling to you. Um, and I think you just connect to those realms on a deeper level than most, like those angelic realms, those ethereal realms, the magical realms. It's like you really, you bring that down to earth, you bring heaven down to earth, you bring paradise down to earth, you bring magic down to earth and color and beauty. And that's something I see. That's something people really love about your personality, really admire about your personality. You also hold the space of loyalty, unconditional love for those around you. You really nurture and love those around you with this huge amount of love. And that's something people really love about your personality, especially those closest to you, because they just receive so much loving energy from, from you that it's quite unbelievable. It's like, it's a type of love you can feel in your heart that is hard to explain with words. But the way you love is from an unconditional perspective. And you have this abundant, rich nature to you, but not just physical abundance. It's an abundance within your soul. It's the way you look at life with this abundance, like there's an abundance of love, there's an abundance of joy, an abundance of beauty. And that's something people also really like about your personality and how genuine, sincere and loyal you are, especially your friends and your partners here, my pal threes. It's like they see you as so loyal. Um, I feel like even people would tell you things and trust you with their information because it's like you give the best advice to all your friends you give the best words of wisdom um it's like you're this old soul but then you also have this youthful perspective to life where you look at life through this childlike perspective that is very beautiful and magical and imaginative and it's like you create your world around you with beauty like this paradise you bring heaven to earth you bring this paradise magical energy to earth and you create it around you and you view life with such this sunny childlike perspective but you also view life as if you've lived like an old person like you've lived life you've seen everything and that's why i say you're like a tree like trees have seen everything but at the same time you're not just the tree, you're the fairies in the tree, you're the butterflies in the tree. Do you get what I mean? If I had to explain it in like that perspective. <laughs> I also feel like a lot of you are creative in some way. Um, there's something about, for some of you, you do music and like people really love your voice. Some of you dance as we see here. Some of you paint or draw and it's like you really put your heart and soul into 
your artistic endeavors, your creative endeavors, your creative ideas. And you're not afraid to put that emotional perspective into it or to put wisdom into your art and make it something meaningful. And it's like, it's very valuable to those that see it or hear it because it's like they really feel the feeling and emotion you put into what you create and it's like you just have a very imaginative abundant energy to you some of you are also really good at poetry or storytelling or you write something like that or you tell a story through how you dance or how you sing there's something about that or like lyrics things like that the way the words you write or the words you use it really inspires a lot of people because you just have this imaginative personality vivid personality and that's something people really like about your personality but I also feel like a lot of you are master manifestors you are amazing at manifesting and creating a reality around you um, and like I said it's like you're connected to this grounded balanced energy of earth but you're also connected to the higher realms of the heavens of the magical realms and you bring the two together almost like spirit showing me a bridge like you bridge those two energies together your energy is super super powerful like I just feel like a lot of you are master manifestors and that's something people see in you Especially if they're spiritual, they see that in you very much. So, um, I also feel like you kind of have this energy of having the world in your hands, having the world as your oyster. And it's like, I can create anything I want. If I want to take a leap of faith and become a dancer on national television, like everyone's going to see me there. And you're going to see me there, that type of energy. Um, I'm seeing the interview someone did with Lady Gaga when she said, you know, in school, I told everyone I was going to be famous. And then she literally did become a famous singer. You know what I mean? And I feel like you have that vibe to you where you are just able to take leaps of faith, yet at a very grounded, balanced patient perspective where you allow your dreams to grow you nurture your dreams and allow them to grow and you understand that you know just like when we plant a seed into the ground we need to allow that flower to grow and nurture that flower and nurture our dreams and it's like you have this very powerful energy of nurturing your dreams growing them and then letting them soar to the sky and kind of like you have this very visionary energy to you when you really want something you go after it you achieve it and you make it seem like so effortless with the easy desert card you make it seem so effortless and you're just really patient when your dreams are busy growing and they haven't been harvested yet it's like you have this patience and this understanding and this stable balanced energy of really building a stable foundation but yet taking a leap of faith with magic at the same time and I think that's really really powerful my pile number threes because I think you've also been focusing a lot on um, building your physical world around you especially in your career finances and your hobbies and focusing on that and I think a lot of you have also been focusing on your physical health as well like gymming exercising eating healthy and that's something people also really admire about you um, because you're just very dedicated and focused to creating your reality the way you want it and Nothing is going to stop you towards getting there. You're focused. You are kind of like that eagle that is flying around and like you catch the fish and everyone's like, oh, you did it so effortlessly. <laughs> That's the feeling I get. Um, I mean, I'm even seeing like an image of like 
if Spirit had to make this a story, a person dancing and it looks so effortless, it looks so gracious, graceful, so divine, so magical, yet so grounded at the same time. <laughs> and that's what I see. That's something people really like about your personality, my pile threes. I also feel like you're very truthful. Even when you give people advice, you're very, very truthful. You have this integrity to you and you you can see life from a bird's eye perspective, bird's eye view. Um, I think a lot of you are very much like in this balanced, grounded, yet vivid, imaginative energy. <laughs> And it's like, you can see life from different angles, different views, different perspectives. You understand people on a deep level. And it's like, I feel a lot of you have been misunderstood by others because you're so multidimensional that you try to understand everyone on a deep level and you can see life from the perspective of someone that is just planting the seed to someone that has harvested all their dreams. You can see life from every angle and point of view and you just have this peaceful presence, this ethereal, magical, peaceful vibe, loving vibe to you and it's like people just love your vibe and your energy. That's something I see. That's something people really love about your personality. And you're also fearless when you go after your dreams, but you also kind of go with the flow. And I think a lot of people think that you have a great purpose in this lifetime and that you're going to do a lot and you're going to change the world in some way. That's something I see. Um, and I think a lot of people see that you're going to change the world in some way. You're going to put your mark on the world and create something on earth if that makes sense that everyone can see that's something I see and it's like when you focus on yourself and what you want to achieve in this lifetime you are a go-getter and you get it and you don't mind going the extra mile for the things you want and then you just are abundantly blessed by the universe with lots of gifts here as we see, you're very gifted, you're very talented, but you also have this abundant nature to you. Like, you know, you deserve all the happiness, all the abundance, all the joy, all the love. And that's what I see here. Um, I also feel like in terms of your energy, you feel things on a very deep level. But that's why you understand humans on a deep level because it's like you've learned from your feelings, you've learned from your emotions and you're at peace with it. And I also feel like when you love, you love with a huge amount of love to those around you, your lovers, your friends. Um, and there's just this loyalty here that I keep seeing that people really admire, especially those closest to you. Those closest to you feel like you just help them grow. You grow together. You just have this very playful personality and you see life through these vivid colors and you bring color into everyone's life, everyone that is closest to you. And I think they just really admire everything about your personality, those you love. Um, I also feel like you're not afraid to walk away from things that aren't serving you and let go of certain parts of yourself, certain versions of yourself. And it's like people see that and even people from the past that were once hating on you, it's like you've almost forced them to see how much you're going to grow, how much you're going to have strength and resilience, how honest you're going to be, how much you're going to go through life with your heart wide open. And it's like even people from your past that once were haters, that once 
wished on your downfall, prayed on your downfall, wanted to see you stuck. It's like they are even cheering, clapping for you. It's kind of like that vibe of, you know, when you watch a reality TV show and you don't like that person on the TV show at first and then later on you start to grow on them and you start to like them. And I'm even feeling like people that used to just pray on your downfall, want to even see you grow in success now, are inspired by you, are seeing you just really be successful in all aspects of your life and be so emotionally balanced and full of strength and resilience. And it's like they even are cheering you on right now. That's something I see. So this is really, really beautiful. Um, I even think people in the past that didn't quite see you or didn't quite understand you are now getting you and they're like oh I, I never understood this person because I never bothered to ask them or look at life from their perspective and it's like they see all your qualities now and they admire your strength you have a very powerful nature and personality and energy to you and you are meant to be seen you're meant to be admired that's something I see and you're busy being celebrated by a lot of people right now you also have a very charming way of speaking and that's something people love about you um some of you have beautiful handwriting or a beautiful way with words and it's like you you're seen as a celebration to be around to those around you but you also just spread sunflowers everywhere you go and like you just have this very playful funny charismatic um, energy to you and you have a way with words and that's something people also like about your personality but I'm also feeling like you're just you just radiate and shine with whatever you do you have this powerful nature to you and you know what spirit showing me the wolf the wolf spirit is just like an ultimate symbol of power because I think the wolf also works as a pack and it's like they value loyalty and integrity but then also the wolf has a natural hierarchy to it and I feel like people naturally put you on a pedestal that's something I see because you have such a powerful energy to you people naturally put you on a pedestal and I'm also seeing here in terms of your friendships you know what your friends love about you <laughs> This may sound a little bit toxic, but like, I feel like you're really good at comebacks. Like some of your friends really think you're really good at comebacks, even if it's not like someone being rude to you and like you come back at them with something. Like, let's just say you're having playful banter with your friends and they say something to you and you just have a comeback that is just like, so funny and they can't even say anything back to you that's something I see for some of you whereas others of you it's like you sometimes have people since you're so powerful you have sometimes have people that want to be in competition with you that are hostile towards you that kind of want to dim your light to shine brighter themselves but then it's like you know exactly what to say to them to put them in their place and you're just so powerful while you do it and I see that with your friendships what your friends admire about you but your friends also admire your loyal compassionate energy they find you to be so powerful but also I'm seeing your friends really think that you lift them up you empower your friends and those around you especially lovers you make your lovers feel like you bring color into their life, magic into their life. And with your friends and your lovers, I feel like you have this telepathic way of speaking to them. Like you could be out in public and just look at them and they know exactly what you're trying to say. And that's the last thing I'm seeing here of what people like about your personality my pile number threes i really hope that this reading resonated if it did please don't forget to like comment subscribe and i can't wait to see you in my next reading bye